Praise the Lord, family, and greetings from Apostle Chauncey Craig at Discipling Ministries. I've been ordered to feed us bread and meat and pray that this meal finds us in the right position to receive it. Our food from a raven is, I know your heart. Say it with me. I know your heart. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and our text comes from Daniel chapter 2 in verse 30. That reads like this. But as for me, this secret has not been revealed to me because I have more wisdom than anyone living. But for our sakes, who make known the interpretation to the king and that you may know the thoughts of your heart. As I begin to meditate on this scripture and hear uh, what exactly God was trying to tell me, I thought it necessary to reference or look up the heart. What I discovered is that the heart contains four chambers. The smaller two chambers are the left and right atriums that receives the blood and the larger uh, the larger other two are the left and right ventricles which sends out the blood. Overall, the chambers on the right side of the heart are smaller than the left side because the right side controls circulation to the nearby lungs with the stronger, larger left pumps blood to the extremities of the body. Now, we know the heart is a really complicated thing, but I just wanted to hit those chambers real quick. Amen. And I, I will get back to that. But God says, I know your heart. When we examine the text, we know that the king wanted Daniel to tell him his dream and interpret his dream without providing any details. Daniel told him that there is a God in heaven that reveals secrets. Daniel goes on to tell the king that this revelation wasn't given to him because he's smarter nor has more wisdom than anybody else living. But the God that reveals secrets wants you, O oh king, to know the thoughts of your heart. And I'm here to tell you today that I'm not smarter. I don't have more wisdom than anybody else. But this is what God has given me. God says, I know your heart. For many of us leaders in this walk of faith, God has entrusted us to watch over and govern his people as a shepherd does his sheep. Unfortunately, we have taken the Lord's talent and turned it into big business for ourselves. We've created great and terrible images of gold, silver, and bronze in the form of bigger buildings. Lavish furnishings, prosperity above all else, the very foundation that supports the image, that supports the structure, that supports our faith, that the, it is the feet of the image and made of iron and clay. Now, let's put this thing together like this. Uh, uh, God says, I know your heart. Because he's the manufacturer, he says, I can clearly see, I can tell where any and all modifications have taken place. He says, I know your heart. On the left side, where we should be strong, we've become weak. Where we used to fast and pray, we don't anymore. Where we used to build people, we don't anymore. Where we used to visit the sick, we don't anymore. And on the right side, we've become strong in doing it on our own, through our education, based on what our portfolio says, without God. Where the blood should be flowing in, the abused, the oppressed, the downtrodden, the low income or the no income, we're pushed. <laughs> uh -huh. We're pushing it out because we have better business plans than God. Where well, the blood should be circulating, fellowshipping amongst the saints, loving our neighbors, we've built dams and levees of unforgiveness. Dams and levees of rejection, success driven, money, homes and cars, a need to make our name great. We've built dams and levees with our fraternities, sororities, auxiliaries, denominations and any other kind of clique. God says, I know your heart. And we're the reason for gangrene and why we can't extend our extremities to embrace another. We're the reason there's a breathing problem and why fresh air don't come out of the lungs and over the body of Christ. But God says, I'm shaking it up. 
I'm cutting a stone out of the mountain to crush and bust that mess up. Although you think you've accomplished much, strong, mighty, untouchable, I see your place of vulnerability. It's the very place, the baked clay, you stood this terrible image up on. And after the fall, that won't be all. I will continue to bash that mess up until the metals are as safe and blown away in the wind. For if it's not built on Jesus the Christ, it ain't going to last. It can't last. Repent, receive deliverance, and get our hearts in working order. For God says, I know your heart. Apostle Chauncey Craig at Discipling Ministries, where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. I love you and praying with you.